Hey guys, it's JT here to do a Let's Play on Mega Man Star Force DX. Now, you may be wondering, DX? Or for those who actually know the game, they're like, they're seeing DX and they're like, what's that? Well, DX is a modded version of the original Mega Man Star Force game, the first game. And I was actually, <clears throat> I wanted to do, to do a Let's Play on this game, and I made my first video, which was on an actual original game, Mega Man Star Force Leo, but then I found about this version the very next day, which is today, and I'm like, dude, I gotta give this a try. There's a lot of quality of life changes that <clears throat> that comes with this version. You know, the community actually put all this in and just pretty much modded the original game, and it warms my heart to see that people still are <clears throat> care that people still care about this game. They're putting some work into it. That makes me super happy. So um, let's pay our respects by playing this game of theirs. Alright, so <clears throat> that's already a change that we see. In the original game, it does you do not have two save data. I do not think. I think later in the second and third game you might, but I don't think the first game ever had. I may be wrong about that. And here's another change. Normal mode and legend mode. I'm not really good at not psych. I'm going legend mode all the way. A mode for truly legendary players. Enemies power up and do you just want to start the game in legend mode? Let's go. Yes. Ooh, I'm excited about this, guys. I'm so happy this actually is a thing. Mega Man Star Force DX that is. Alright. It is the year 20. 22220X. I think I'll pronounce it like that. Extraterrestrial life has been discovered. The new space exploration agency, NASA, in an effort to enter into a friendly relationship or brother band with the aliens, launched a space station named Peace, as opposed to War. Oh, there it is. There's Peace. Man's dream to find other intelligent life among the stars has had finally been realized. However, the space station, the hope of man, met with a mysterious accident, and it disappeared to whereabouts unknown. Ooh, <clears throat> looks like something happened to peace, and now it's gone. Of course, many people worked hard to find it, but the space station cannot be found. And then, a few months after the incident, a section of peace was found in the sea. All hope was lost after that. I would think after you find a piece that actually fell from space and landed in the Earth's sea, that you would have a little bit more hope, seeing that maybe peace was actually not that far off. Because <laughs> the chances of a section of the peace falling into Earth's ocean or sea that's very small, so I feel like they should have tried a bit harder after finding that. NASA took it hard and stopped the search, and to put the project on hold permanently. Three years to the day have passed since. So a little little background story, you know. This game, it's a pretty niche game. Not a lot of people know about it, but I got it when I was a little kid. You know, it looked pretty cool, and I think I got it in Toys R Us. I brought it home, and I started playing it, and I've been in love with it ever since. So I'm pretty excited for this Let's Play. Alright. I can't believe it's been three years since Kelvin Space Station vanished. Hmm, I suppose it has. As you can see, I'm gonna I'm trying to do some voices for these guys. I think voices are pretty cool. However, I don't know if I have enough voices though, because I've <laughs> this is gonna be the first time I've really done anything like this. Hopefully, I don't jumble up the voices too much. Oh, I was I wanted to ask you how he's doing. He's in fifth grade now, right? He would be, but he still can't bear to go. Ever since that incident, he, he's been very close towards everyone. I don't blame him. 
the boy lost his father, who he loved dearly. That's gotta be tough. But if he's not going... Oh, on, come on. What about his studies? We're managing with the card force system. He's studying from one of the textbook type card navy man. Navy. Teacher man. But he's not really focusing. He fiddles with gadgets and reads about the stars. He wants to move to outer space and find a house to find his dad. Oh, I see. If only we had more power, we could have found... Aaron, it's okay. It's not your fault. It was an accident. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Our hero has, has made an appearance. Come here and say hello, young man. Fine. This man is Mr. Boreal, and he worked under your dad at NASA. Howdy. Hey. I, I really owe him from when I worked at NASA. That was one brave man, your father. Oh yeah, I quit NASA a while back, and now I work at my own lab. Just outside of town, researching the Earth space and the stars if you want you're welcome to drop by um don't be rude introduce yourself uh, um okay now we get to pick our name for our protagonist i'm actually going to be keeping it the same geostellar that's his canon name in the second and third games you don't get to choose your names and it's just geostellar so i want to keep it pretty consistent for continuity sake my name is geostellar da, da, da. nice to meet you geo oh before i forget i brought you a present this is a very special pair of glasses it's called a visualizer i heard your father used it at used it in his work, but I don't know much else beyond that. I found it when I quit NASA, and I thought I'd just steal it and give it to you. I gotta get it off my hands before they find me. Geo got the visualizer. This was Dad's? Thanks. Are you headed to your usual spot? Yeah. It's gonna be clear out tonight, so I'll be able to see the stars really well. Geo, your transer isn't on. Uh oh. Geo, turn on his transer. Look at that. Honestly, why must I always remind you to keep your transer on? Now check your battle cards. Your brothers. Who cares? I don't have any brothers. So no one is going to see my personal page anyways. True. What are you talking about? Your transfer isn't on. No one can see your ID info either. Okay, I get it. Sheesh, Mom. I'll be going now, Mom. Be back in a bit. You know, I feel like my inflection of the mom kind of made it a bit antagonistic towards Geo. I don't know. It kind of seems funny, though. He's always like that. I wish he would could develop a few brother band relationships with some friends. By the way, where's Geo headed off to? Vista Point, just behind the school. He goes there every day around dusk and does who knows what. Maybe he just stares up at the sky. He thinks he'll see his dad. Ever since that day, time has come to a stop. For us, anyway. I know we should move on, but it's so hard to. Mm. Well, well, well. Looks like I got some mail. Let me see, I can check my mail by pressing the X button to open the menu screen, and then pick an email. 
This is Echo Ridge. This is our hometown. Let's check that email that Geo was talking about. Class review, Echo Elementary. This week we studied about transfers. Transfers are the mobile terminals everyone wears on their arm. They have a variety of functions such as email and phone. They also store your personal page and other info. By pushing select, you can switch between different screens of your transit to display such things as personal card, brother card, and navi cards. If your transfer is displaying a navi card, it means that that navi is currently in your transfer. If you swipe a navi card through your transfer, you'll be able to activate incredible power. Navi are your indispensable friends, so I talk to them once in a while with the L button. Lastly, all transfers are registered to one of three satellites in outer space. Pegasus, Leo, or Dragon. Thanks to these satellites, transfers on the same satellite can communicate with each other. If you look in the right of the screen, you can see we are the Pegasus satellite. Also, the very symbol of our modern age, the Brother Band, is made possible thanks to them. A little introduction, introductory info. Let's go talk to a few people. The device on your arm is transferred, and in it, your personal information is stored. So you shouldn't show it to strangers, okay? You should only show it to your brothers. Your brothers are people who you truly trust, enough to form a brother band with them. Oh, but when you form a brother band, you have to tell each other your biggest secret. Do you have any brothers? Um, no. Well, you have to choose your brothers wisely, so I understand. So basically, brothers are just really good friends of yours. Best friends. Do you know about the three satellites up there? They're called Pegasus, Leo, and Dragon. The three satellites host a variety of transfers. And transfers on the same satellite are connected in their own network. But ever since the space station incident three years ago... Was it that your dad? Uh, never mind. They have been in charge of stopping harmful EM viruses from landing on Earth as well. Anyways, people of this country all belong to one satellite or another. Which satellite do you belong to? I belong to the dragon one. I belong to the Pegasus one, my guy. Do you know- Hmm, what does this guy sound like? Do you know about navvies? No, I, I don't think it sounds like Do you know about navvies? In every navvy card, there is a navvy. They pro they're programs, but they can do a lot of things. Like if you swipe with the skill you need through your transfer, the navi will appear. There are all kinds of skills on those cards. For example, if you swipe Dragman's card through your transfer, he can drive your car. Just like Tesla. Long ago, people could only have one navi, but now you can have lots of them and use them when you need to, all thanks to the card system. It's a really convenient age we live in, huh? So navy cards, just programs that help you out. You have battle cards, right? These cards were created three years ago. And people deal with EM viruses that started popping up. There are also different kinds, so they're just more than just to stop viruses. You can have fun collecting them as well. Oh yeah? You can edit your card deck by going to the menu screen in the battle card screen. Your equipped cards will be in a folder, okay? <laughs> so that's more uh, <clears throat> for the fighting portion of this game. If you swipe your card through your transfer, the wave inside that card will be activated. Then you can operate electronics using the EM wave power of that card. Navies can become EM waves too and control the... Navvies can, can become EM waves and control things too. You know, we can't see them, but I wonder if they're if they really fly around. Interesting. So let's go to Vista Point, right over here. Hmm. Gotta give this person a really good voice. You there? Wait.
You're the one, aren't you? The boy who never comes to school. I'm Luna Platts of Echo Elementary, Class 5A, which makes me your class president. The big guy behind me is Bud Bison, and the short one is Zach Temple. <laughs> hey, jerk! No, I want to give this dude. Hey, jerk! Don't just stand there. Say some. The prez is waiting for a response. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. But it's my job as class president to see that all of my classmates attend school. Uh, what? I hate it when things aren't perfect. So having just one person missing is unforgivable. Sorry, but I've got nothing to do with you. Hey, you can't just say that to the press. How dare you! The press is telling you to go to school! Don't look down on us because you're taller! But, Zach, that's enough. What's up? These guys were jumping? They were hot. Heated. In any case, in any case, Geo, I expect to see you at school tomorrow. Yeah, right. I'm not even gonna talk to you. Geo Stellar. Something tells me he won't be showing up. I wonder how she got that impression. <laughs> Alright. If only we had some way to open him up. Hmm. Today's brother band lesson was. Yes, that may become that may come in hand. Come on now, you two. Let's get going. Chop chop. Yes, yes, yes. School, huh? Beep, 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 beep. Mail? I wonder who it's from. Ugh, it's the prez. Hi, Geo. It's your class... Hi, Geo. It's your class president, Luna Platts. I didn't like your attitude, but I can forgive you. If you come to school, we have some brother band homework today. I've attached a new version of the brother band program we use in class. So make sure you do your homework. Oh, and one more thing. Come to school. Now initializing personal page editor. Okay, looks like we're all set. Now we're going to use this program and do your homework. So pay close attention, okay? This is the brother, brother screen on your transfer. It shows you info about your brothers. You can access the screen by selecting brother on the menu screen. Ah, you don't even have a single brother. I can't explain anything like this. Alright, I'll tell you what. Just for now, I'll be your brother. You better be thankful. Here we go. Now, you and I are brothers. Actually, do you need me to explain brother band to you? You do? I thought everyone knew about brother bands. What a, well, whatever. Brother Band is a system that connects two friends through EM Wave. Once you become brothers, you can send mail and trade data no matter where you are. You can also see each other's personal page. Huh? What's a personal page? Why, your profile and battle cards are shown there. If you're gonna have any brothers, you're gonna have you're gonna need a personal page. I know, let's make you one. Got it so far? I got it. Okay, now I'm gonna now I'm going to explain personal pages. This is a personal page. You can see this by selecting your brother's or your own icon from the brother's screen. So a personal page is just that. It's where info about a person is displayed. You can see a brother's info or vice versa. Now I'll explain things one at a time. In the upper left hand corner, a person's name, face, icon, and level are shown. What's someone's level? I have no idea. All of this has already been set, so let's go on. The lower part of your the lower part shows your battle data. Hmm? You can't see because I'm in your way? Alright, I'll leave for a second. Push the A button when you're done, okay? Did you take a good look? Well, even if you didn't, I'm back, so moving on. Favorites is where you can choose six of your cards. Favorite is where the six cards you set as your favorites are displayed. Favorite battle cards can be used by brothers, so you should 
set only your strongest cards. Let's see, best combo? I don't actually know much about that, but we don't need it right now anyway. Link abilities are powers you and your brother give to each other as boosts. So, so are you okay up to this point? Yes. Lastly, let's look up at the upper right. Do you see the Mez and Secur buttons? Mez stands for message, and it's where you can leave a note for your brothers. You can write about what you did recently, brag, or whatever you'd like. You can edit it at any time, so for now, just hurry up and write a self-intro. This doesn't matter too much, you just put A. Secur. Secur is where you write your secret message. Secrets you, can, you can't tell a stranger, but you can tell your brothers. When you become brothers with someone, they can see your secret, so be honest. You can change your secret at any time, so for now, just write some. Let's do B. Okay, congratulations on creating your personal page. If you have a brother, you'll always be connected, no matter where or when. It's neat! Boom! <clears throat> so hurry up, make some brothers! Oh, one more thing. If you have real friends, like in real life, and you want to form a brother band with them, you can become real brothers with only three people at first, but if one day you achieve something great, the number of brothers you can go with, you, the number of brothers you can have will grow. Real brothers can change their info day by day, so it's good to trade your own info through the menu screen on air section, okay? This is just relating to online play, which I won't be doing on here, so it doesn't matter too much. If both of you are on air at the same time, something even better will happen, I hear. Hmm, and that concludes your brother band homework. Now all you have to do is make some brothers, go on air, trade data, and come to school. Oh, and one last thing, one very important last detail. Come to school! Got it. I'll see you at school then. Looks like I got some mail. So I'm assuming this is just the information that we read just now. Because it's from Luna. Luna Plants. And this is <clears throat> Welcome to Vista Point. A very significant place in the game. We won't be here just once. The stars were just beginning to twinkle as Geo turned his eyes to the heavens. Dad, Cassiopeia is so bright tonight. Oh, and today this man named Mr. Boreal came to our house. And he gave me your visualizer. It's got some sort of special lens, and it feels like it has special power. But what can I see with it? If I use it, will I see you? Who am I kidding? Dad, where are you? I miss you so much. Dad. What? This, this is a dad's access signal. It's getting closer and closer. <clears throat> this dude needs to be cool. So this is Earth. Uh. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could see me? That's funny. Humans aren't supposed to be able to see energy beings like me. Uh, are, are you a monster? What? Why are there roads in the sky? That's not the Milky Way, that's for sure. Am I dreaming? Oh, yeah, I, I, it disappeared. I was dreaming. Oh, oh, it's back. These glasses, they make me dream on command. Now I get it. 
you see my EM body with those glasses. But, but I didn't see a thing earlier. Hmm. I must have activated some hidden power of those glasses when I zapped them. What? What? Hey, didn't tell didn't anyone tell you not to gawk. But I guess I can't blame you, kid. Who who are you? The name's Omega Sis. But humans get it all wrong, so just call me Mega. I'm from Planet FM, so I'm what you humans call an alien, I guess. But to me, you guys are the real aliens. Normally, you humans can't see my human body, which is made out of electromagnetic waves. But somehow, I guess with those glasses, you can see the wave world. That road you see in the sky is part of the wave world. A wave road. You got all of that geostellar. Why, why does an alien know my name? I heard it from a human I met in space. That human? Wait, could it be? Was it my dad? Dad? Where is he right now? Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> They're here already. They're here? Who's here? The creeps who are after me. That's who, kid. Uh oh. Something that wasn't there before. What the? That train's not supposed to be able to move, let alone move without its tracks. EM viruses from Planet F. They're gonna destroy the town with them. What? If they did that, it'd be a disaster. Plus, mom's still at home. There's only one way to stop that train. Go into it and delete those EM viruses. Delete those viruses? But how? Like this! Now listen up, kid. You wanna stop that train? You do what I say. Got it? You humans have those card force things, right? Yeah? Take out one of the, your blank cards. Oh, um, okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Wow, whoa! The card's glowing. What's he doing? I'm powering up the card with my energy. Look, we don't have much time. Next, we gotta find a wave hole. A wave hole? A wave hole is where a chunk of space has been warped into a whirlpool shape. I bet you can see them with those glasses. Space that's been warped into a whirlpool? Uh, is that it over? No, no, it's not it. Let me look. Oh, it might be that thing right there. Hey, I think I see one. You don't need to wear your visualizer for this next part, but swipe the card I made you. I made when you're at the wave hole. You know how to swipe a card, right? Of course. I just pressed the R button. What? Yeah. That sounds right, I guess. And then you gotta yell, EM wave change, Geostellar on the air. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess you, I should tell you, kid. Push the Y button to put on your visualizer. That way you can see the wave world. Now put those glasses to good use. Let's move. And with that, I think this is a good stopping point. Lots of introductions in this episode since it's at the beginning of the game. But next, we'll be able to, next episode, we'll be able to fight some EM viruses. So I'm pretty excited. And we'll fight them on Legend mode. And I don't know what that entails, but I'm pretty excited because I love this game. Alright, well, thank you for watching. This is JT signing out. See you next time.